How, when yeah, when the guys right. were batting, what was it like for you? Uh, awful. Um, the, the, I didn't enjoy the match at all, actually, until the, the very last minute. But um, the sort of to and fro of the game, the tense, the pressure, everything. But then nothing will top the winning moment. So I'll take that every day of the week if we get over the line and get to win the World Cup. So that was the best feeling ever. Your view of that run out? Did you know? uh, I was off the field, so I tore my side or tweaked my side. Um, so James Vince went on the field. Um, he was feeling that it was even worse being off the field, not knowing that you can't affect it or do anything. And then all of a sudden, um, when the throw came in, I was all, I was already halfway over the barriers and on the field. So yeah, it was great. Last question. Okay, uh, just Mark. Also, as well, just when you look at the journey this side has been on over four years, uh, how emotional does that? You know, what sort of emotions does that bring about you when you look at this group of players? Because you stuck hard to what you thought was a way to play. Yeah, I think the togetherness in the group and the resilience and um, everything that really showed through. And I think um, there was different emotions at the end. There was people crying, there was people grabbing each other, there was people on the floor, there was people lifting each other up. So uh, it was carnage, bodies everywhere, but I absolutely loved it. If I, if I could bottle that feeling, I'd take it every time. But how do you feel about all these kids out here desperately wanting to bowl? Crossings uh, in the middle overs. I'm not sure about that, but uh, no, it's so good, isn't it? We uh, we knew we had to come here today, and it, it, it's actually so nice to see the kids turn up and speak your name and push them to get an autograph. It, it is a special feeling. I know my uh, my nieces and nephew watched it. They're exactly the same, glued to the TV. And as I said, it reminds me of the uh, the Ashes 2005. Uh, the crowd around Trafalgar Square and just being a part of this. It is surreal. Uh, I want to take it every moment in otherwise it'll flash by so it, it's really good feeling and just can you take us through i know how emotional you were yesterday you told me then but tell us again especially in the context of your long career and how long yeah. you've been around being out there with ross taylor and all that yeah it is it's obviously playing in the in the world cup in the caribbean uh playing against ross taylor and then a blink of an eye i'm, I'm at lords playing cricket as i said yesterday i've not won sort of a big trophy like ipl and big bash and that kind of stuff but Oh man, I would have snapped my hand off for that feeling yesterday. Lords, World Cup final in England. We're, we've been the best team in the world for the last how many years? And you can be the best team, but it doesn't mean you show up and win a World Cup. And what we've done this World Cup, we got beat. And we knew we had to win the last four games, and that's what we did. It shows what kind of special guys them up in that uh, dressing room. So yeah, crazy. And uh, are you still feeling emotional? I believe you shed a tear yesterday, did you? Yeah, I did. It was, uh, when I must say, my old man. Uh, Mum and dad, my old man was a cricketer, uh, a good bowler in his own right, a good club cricketer. Uh, for him followed me around the world and seeing him, he's not an emotional person, but to see him break down and cry, and yeah, 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 give me absolute tear. Just, it was for them as well, you know. It's, uh, they've travelled, dropped me off here, there, left, right and centre. So to see them enjoy that day, see them in the box, excited for every wicket, every run, it, it was an amazing feeling.